Rich Merchant saw that the water level was up to his thighs. The old man tried to start the pump to drain the water, but the motor only hummed slightly. Then it stopped working completely. There was nothing else to do. The rich merchant took the risk of hoisting the sail, turning the bow of the boat in the direction of the sea breeze so that the notched side of the boat completely exposed to the water. With the water no longer pouring into the hold, the large container drifted further and further away. The rich merchant finally breathes a sigh of relief. After a simple repair, he unpacked all the electronics on the deck to dry. Then he opened a bottle of glue, poured in the adhesive, mixes well, applied around the gap in the hull, then used nylon wire material, seal all the gaps, press down firmly. After making sure that no more seawater would come in, the rich merchant sawed off a table leg and thinned the end with a knife, poke it into the pump and drain the water manually. After a full day of work, the merchant was exhausted, but in order to survive, he didn't dare stop. He immediately removed the batteries from under the deck, connected to a sun-dried radio. He tried to call for help, but no matter how much he turned the knob, the radio only emitted a tinkling sound of electricity. There was no way to send a distress signal. In desperation, the rich merchant tried to make some food first. However, he had just taken out his chopping board and a kitchen knife to cook. A large amount of water began to seep from the wooden planks above his head. The merchant's face turned pale. He climbed out of the cabin to check, to find that the sea, which had just been calm, was now clouded over. It was clear that a heavy rain is coming soon. Oh.